respect for themselves or others um, they're invading the privacy of someone's relationship but you know they're not alone of course the guy is part of the problem but like have some self-respect like you're you're being relevant to someone else's relationship that doesn't make sense a side chick first off it's not good you don't want to be the side chick the side chick usually gets like no respect you know she's the girl behind the main girl and if anything you want to be the main girl but then you don't want to be her either because she's the main one getting cheated on it's just like a real messy situation don't be anybody's side chick <laughs> a woman that is outside of a, a relationship and they are you know engaged with that other person who they're not supposed to be Engaging. Okay, okay, okay. Some so of them the have similar views. It's like a piece of chicken. Like the, <laughs> the main thing. And then the side chick is like mashed potatoes, you know? The lot of potatoes. A little bit. The and then the side chick is like the, the, <laughs> the, meal, the main meal. And then there's mashed potatoes are four, so you know? You, you have more than one side. Like <laughs> but side others, chick. not so much. Well, my idea of a side chick would be someone who is, well, I mean, a company person that would just you could call and uh, rely on whenever you need someone. I, in my idea of a side chick, um, girl on the side, so a guy will have his main guy, and then this side chick is just money to on the side, I guess. Okay, so I'm sitting here with LeBron, and he's actually my brother. And I just wanted to know, Ron, what is your definition of a side chick, and do you actually have one? Well, my definition of a side chick is a girl that I talk to that's not my girlfriend. Like, say if I get into an argument with my girl or sometimes I want to be around my girl, I can just go to my side chick house or go pick with my side chick. What? So you have a side chick. So does oh. this girl know she's a side chick? Well, I don't have a girlfriend, so they all side chicks right now. So. <laughs> so. Okay, well, thank you for your honest opinion. <laughs> All right, so it says here, according to Urban Dictionary, a side chick is the other woman, AKA a mistress, a female that is neither a man's wife or girlfriend and who has relations with this guy while he's in another relationship. So, you know what, there are signs, you know, if you're a side chick or not, you, yes. do you have any hints or signs that this girl could possibly be a side chick? Well, first and foremost, if she's a side chick, then she gets the little package that comes with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> what I mean by that is that package is like she only gets a little bit of his time. A main chick takes up majority of his time, but a okay. side chick is like, oh, when the girl's at work and then mm -hmm. he scoops her up or whatever like that. And so let me think. I, see, I have never been in this situation, so right. it's so hard for me to say. But I think a side chick is just. A girl that's just a hoe. I'm just, yeah. <laughs> that's my definition that's like just sleeping with him for pleasure and gets things in return. Mm -hmm. So I, that's what I think. <laughs> right, and my girl Jasmine here is actually going to be a wife soon. Yes. So <laughs> you know, I'm going to be in her wedding. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, another sign I think is that if a guy is so secretive of his phone, if his oh, text yeah. messages, oh, yeah. 
Like he is always hiding, walking to another room when he gets a phone call. Another sign is if sweetie, if he don't spend any holidays with you, yes, she knows how to if he gets you the little boule flower, <laughs> and the gas yes, station flower, <laughs> right? Then it's not. another sign, I guess, is if he take you to Burger King, not Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> I love cheesecake factory. They have so many good flavors of cheesecake. Mm -hmm. It's not even funny, but that's true. I mean, like we can't let these guys, you know, treat us any kind of way or settle for that because then they will have their cake and eat it too. Yes. So, uh, what is another sign? Let's talk about text messages. Oh boy, what kind of text message will a side chick get? I'm busy right now. My work, <laughs> sleep. <laughs> oh boy, the list goes on. And Netflix on. and chill. Like, oh yeah, that's... get that you up text. You know, like um, it'd be late at night. Like you don't need no sleep. You know, <laughs> that's not the kind of Can text you, you want. You up? <laughs> right. And uh, main chick, a guy who wants that girl is gonna make sure you know he gets a lot of her time, no matter you know, no matter what. He's at work. He has time for her. So, oh yes. I'm just saying. What are some ultimate side chicks who are proud to be side chicks? Because I feel like our generation, our society is making that really popular. Um, what are some celebrities that girls look up to and they are like, okay, whatever. I'm oh my chick. goodness, I am so ashamed of myself. I was watching Love and Hip Hop <laughs> <laughs> over the weekend, uh -huh. and then I was looking at. I think her name is Jocelyn, and then she's with um, that one guy. That, Stevie, Stevie J, I think, mm -hmm. and like I was just look, I was so just like amazed, like really, like they really married or what? What would you consider? Right. I don't know. I don't even think they're married in real life, but it mm -hmm. seemed like when he had Mimi, like he never proposed to her, but over fifteen years, and then he oh, came wow. with this new chick. I'm like, hold up now, yes. and she's like, you know, I'm gonna take your man, you know, whatever. So she does not <laughs> care. Side chicks are bold these days. They'll go after your men no matter oh, yes. what. They will. In your face. <laughs> yes. Right. And what about Tara and Peter in the whole Amina situation? Like, <laughs> oh, boy. I don't even want to comment on that. That's just a mess. A bunch of mess. Like, I will never, as a female, put myself in that situation, mm -hmm. period. Like, it's just totally disrespectful just to be a side chick or be the, his hoe. Mm -hmm. other girlfriend just to be to have that title like right and sometimes it's not just all on the females too it's like some guys could be psychologically tricking these women oh yeah thinking that they're the only one and then you find out and it's just like oh oh shoot he just played the hell out of me you know yeah. and that's a good point some women don't even know that they're a side chick right and because guys hide it so well I mean, <laughs> some girls are proud of it some girls don't even know so mm -hmm. it's like a loose little situation but if you know and you continue to go on with that kind of mess like shame <laughs> on you like you know I'm snapping and breaking heads and it's whatever but mm -hmm. now if you do find out that you're a side chick like what can you do to get over that like if you're the girl who got played what can you do to get over that um, most girls will probably get revenge <laughs> yeah. back in my old days that would be my first decision <laughs> oh you gonna play me Oh, looks what's gonna happen. But, uh -oh. I mean, the best revenge is to leave. Like, that's just the best resort and find someone that's gonna treat you right and so that you can be the main chick and so that you can rock his wings and just show off in front of everyone. Right. I mean, that would be the best revenge because, you know, we all probably, some way, somehow, got cheated on yeah, yeah. or been one of the side chicks. So, mm -hmm. I mean, that would be my resolution. Right. <laughs> it is like some of the side chicks be like, oh my God, did you really just mess with that? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't want to point nobody. <laughs> but also, just to love yourself at the end of the day, yeah. know that you're worthy. Mm -hmm. Join the club. Join the hobby. Mm -hmm. You know, go do yoga <laughs> and take oh, yeah. your mind <laughs> off of that. <laughs> and yeah. um, have you ever got caught in a situation where you caught the side chick or y'all kind of bumped heads and it's like, you know, who is you? You have that self-discovery of the two and you're like, okay, what do you know about my man? Oh, yes. Back then, <laughs> I did a lot of guys that, you know, had a lot of history behind them. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm the type that believe in second chances and just believe, like, okay, maybe he will change. But <laughs> I met my match so many times. Like, just for example, I had an ex I was with for a very long time, and I found out that he cheated within the time I was with him. I think it was like three years or probably more. And, oh, my God, I was so, like, hurt. 
it was nothing I could do. I just like, wanted nah. revenge. Like, you know? you could have called me the right. like, let's jump <laughs> this. You know what I'm saying? You know, I could have got revenge or anything like that, but I feel like the best revenge is to move on and let them see that you're happy. Yeah. And now I have a lot to look forward to, so. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I won, so. Right, I mean, that's all you can do is just look mm -hmm. out for right. yourself. Exactly, put yeah. yourself first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These guys will be here. It's millions of them, you know, whatever. And it's not the end of the world. And I remember when I was dating a guy and, you know, for about two years or so, and he was still talking to his ex. And how I found out is, you know, he didn't directly tell me, but I had to learn from her. I'm like, you know, that's not loyalty at mm -hmm. all. And, you know, she just started snapping on me. Well, he don't want you, this and that. And it's like, girl, whatever. You know, <laughs> you can oh, have him. Oh, my and goodness. It, it feels so nice to be single. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. I miss my single days. Um, <laughs> I mean, no. But, I, no, so you are married. You're hitched. So, yes. you found a man, you know, who that's treats right. you right. And that's all that matters. So. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You just brought up another issue. Would you consider baby mamas to be side chicks? Oh, wow. Anyway. That's a good question. I mean, <laughs> it depends on the guy because some guys are completely done with their baby mamas. They'll be like, you know what, we're just cool, we're, we're just working things out for the sake of our child. But then there's those guys in most of Milwaukee <laughs> that still go back and forth and mess with their baby oh, yes. mamas. And oh, yes. it's like, how do you deal with that? I, you know, I tried to date a guy with a kid and it did not work out. Just for the simple fact, I think. Like in the back of my mind, I'm always thinking that he's gonna go back to her mm -hmm. or she's gonna be there along the way. Even if, you know, they're not talking, she still will be some type of way in his life. Right. So I'm like, I just feel like sometimes that can be true. I'm not saying that for all women, but some women, yeah. if they see that their baby daddy moved on, they'll try to <laughs> just come in whenever they can. They're the most just, bitter people yes, I they are. Swear. Yes. <laughs> and then sometimes I try to put myself in their shoes too. Mm -hmm. Like if I had a child with this man and we were supposed to be together mm -hmm. for eternity or have you know have a family be married, like would I be a bitter one too? You know, mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe he scorned her that much. Oh, yeah. Where <laughs> and it's crazy. So it's so difficult because you just mm -hmm. try to stay out of the relationship. Yeah. You're like that's y'all kid, that's y'all business, mm -hmm. do what y'all got to do, so, right. I mean, <laughs> oh my goodness, but I, I mean, I feel like society holds side chick as, this is what you're supposed to be, mm -hmm. it's like marriage in particular isn't even a goal anymore, it's yeah. just to be in his life, and it's like, oh, I took you from him, or I have him too, so it's, it's like, like it's like, you know, our deals, the people we're supposed to look up to, like, mm -hmm. just looking at, like, Jocelyn, for example, like, Girls are looking at her. Right. And I don't want them to think that, oh, this is how you're supposed to be. This right. is how you're supposed to get a man. And it's just not cool. Yeah, right. it's like really shameful. And it is. the fact that the black community is dimin diminishing the concept mm -hmm. of marriage. Um, and I like to look at Gabrielle Union and Dwayne. Oh, yeah. Couples it's like so that, yeah. where it's like, those are the real relationship <laughs> goals. Those are the goals. <laughs> but now you want to be a side chick. <laughs> but I just don't understand. Like, what holds more value, a wife, the title wife, or the title side chick? Mm -hmm. You know, it's just... Yeah, and some of them don't even treat their wives, you know, the way they're supposed to be treated. Shame on them if they oh, yes. aren't. So, oh, yes. you know, these men be causing a whole bunch of problems. And it's, so. it's very scary. And um, I did a research paper on this last year about marriage and divorce. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons why women divorce so much is because men have mistresses or they mm -hmm. have a baby outside the marriage. So that's, you know, side chicks, right? you know, breaking up marriages. I mean, it's so Home much. Like, <laughs> home wreck your health. <laughs> like, stop. <laughs> oh, wow. And it's just like, if a female was to go off and even text another guy or talk to him, it don't even have to be anything sexual. Mm -hmm. Let's say you have a guy at work who you're cool with, your boyfriend is snapping off. Like, I'm oh, yes. talk to this dude, oh, yes. you know, who is he? You're not loyal, but they can talk to a hundred girls, so I'm just saying. But do you have any last thoughts for us, Jasmine, on this topic? Okay, on this topic of side chicks, is it possible that a guy can be a side? I don't know what a does. side do or side yeah, dude. I, get, <laughs> I will say side nigga, but I don't know. <laughs> that's very possible. Like, I think some guys just don't care. Like, <laughs> they like the simple fact that hey i can get sex when i want it mm -hmm. and from any girl and still not hold any like 
standards or obligations to this person because they know they got multiple girls. So it's a lot of guys out there who's oh, yeah. like, I don't mind being a side dude. I know when to shut up when he call. Mm -hmm. I know when to <laughs> be quiet in the background. I know when the times that you off work and when you're around him. So they definitely do not <laughs> care. And of course, we look at it like they look at us. That is not boyfriend material. Like, you know, <laughs> you would exactly. toy at the end of the day. <laughs> and so. you know, it's so crazy because women, we already face so much in society, period, in general, just being a woman. Mm -hmm. And for women to just belittle themselves like that, it's just crazy because right. I will never see myself as a side chick I right. never I mean of course I've been cheated on but as far as wanting to be a side chick I mm -hmm. think that's just yeah, right not me. that's so wrong and like some guys just don't care you know yes. at the end of the day and it's like they don't get it until they grow up and see that okay that was a good girl who I wanted at the oh, end yeah. of the day mm -hmm. and I think that's what a lot of women should think like I'm just waiting for my king. I'm not going to take these things Exactly. So. Exactly. Focus on your education. Get a good career foundation. Mm -hmm. If you have kids, make sure they are first. Right. You know, to not be a side chick. I think we see some examples <laughs> of what happens when you're a side chick. The yeah. label, the reputation you get from society, it all matters. So. All right. Well, thank you guys for checking in with us. And we'll be right back with the Girl Rundown next week. Thanks. Bye.